We also found a way of diminishing the ambient infrared energy. This took us, embarrassingly, a while to figure out, but if you take a simple Starbucks uh, a coffee container, it insulates, right? And so, what does that mean to insulate? It means it blocks the infrared from coming into your iced coffee and warming it up. And so, we took a doer, the same sort of thing, but a professional one. We stuck the, the chamber with the exclusion zone inside. So, this is the result. The top one is the control. You can see a standard size exclusion zone. And then, we put it into the doer for 15 minutes, took it out and quickly looked before it built up again. And you can see that the exclusion zones on either side are smaller, uh, roughly half the size. And then pull it out and, and let it sit on the bench and they build up again back to the normal size. So, it means that we can either increase the energy or decrease the energy and it has a, a direct effect on the exclusion zone. So, the answer to question four about energy is uh, that EZ is powered by photonic energy, which orders the water and charges the water battery. What about energy flow on the Earth? So, the sun hits the water and generates heat. However, I've shown that it imparts energy for building order and separating charge. Now, if that's true, then you might ask, okay, if, if it's building up this potential energy, can you get the energy out after you've put the energy in? And we found that you can. Um, we found that it, again, a couple of undergraduate students found if you put a tube uh, made of some hydrophilic material, either a naphion to start with or a gel, that you get constant flow through the tube. And the experiment is shown here. Uh, you take the tube and you quickly um, you fill it with water to make sure there are no air bubbles. Put it in a water bath that also contains microspheres, so you can see if there's any movement. Put it in the microscope. And the result is shown here. So you see, so you have the flow, and the flow keeps going. And it's not just the naphion tube, it's also, we found the same thing occurring in a gel. We cut a tunnel inside a gel, a cylindrical tunnel, and you can see it here that there's an exclusion zone, and right in the center are all the microspheres. We found that we can actually increase the flow by adding light.